what is up to all of my little unicorns new and old it's your girl west anyway back again with another information filled video now today i'm going to try to relax and soothe you with this irish moss tutorial you guys are going to see how to make irish moss in small batches even if you don't have a fancy blender okay so i'm going to do the irish moss i got the two bowls going i also have my alkaline water pitcher and I have my Ninja Bullet Blender. I have two limes and you'll see why I need two limes. And today I'm going to be using the Full Spectrum Irish Moss by Akeem Pierre. Um, he has a company called Rich Soul Foods and that is the only Irish Moss that I use. You guys are gonna see why. It's so beautiful, you guys. Once I zoom in up close, you'll see all the lovely colors. It's packed with nutrients, and you guys know it's like the quickest way to get rid of malnutrition. So one of the biggest things when it comes to getting smooth Irish sea moss gel or Irish moss gel, however you say it, is to know how much you're going to be needing. If you use too much and soak too much, your Irish moss is gonna be really thick. So you wanna make sure that you don't use too much. It's kind of trial and error, but you'll get it after a couple tries. So as you see there, this Irish moss is beautiful. It has so many different colors and all of that represents the different types of nutrients that it is going to give you. I love the full spectrum and I love the regular one as well, um, but I don't really have a preference on either one. Both of them, I make them to where you don't have any like flavor or taste associated with them. So I don't really know the difference as it's going in. Plus I put it in things like baking goods and smoothies and face masks so i don't really taste it going in but i do love the idea of just flip-flopping between both so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to rinse it as you saw i switched over to some cool water because when you're rinsing it you want to make sure that you're using the best water possible so if you live in an area that does not have great water make sure that you try to use like spring water or something like that but if you don't you can just use um, your regular water for the first rinse and just try to make sure that it's on cool because Irish moss soaks up everything in heat so if you put warm water in there it's kind of already going to start to expand and that's not what you want because you only want it to expand on that really good water that you're going to put the alkaline water so I'm just going to type um type up <laughs> I'm just going to cut up the two limes and one lime is going to be used for my first rinse and then the other lime is going to be used for when i actually squeeze it on there and fill it up with alkaline water so i didn't really show it here but i do this twice so the first time i'm gonna massage in the lime and then i'm gonna rinse it again with that water like i did in the sink and then the second time what you're seeing here is that i'm going to squeeze the lime on and i'm going to fill this with alkaline water i'm going to fill it far above and beyond what i think that this irish moss can even soak up because trust me when i tell you it does soak up a lot of water so i'm going to fill this up a lot and let it sit here for um, at least four hours you can do it a lot quicker if you use warm water but four hours i usually like to do it overnight but this is going to be the quick method four hours will get you right so i'm just massaging it in there making sure that it's all good you see me just showcasing the beautiful colors there for you guys so that you can see exactly what it is that you are getting yourselves into a lot of holistic beautiful irish moss here and then after about four hours you see how full it looks these are all the nutrients that are going to go into your body and treat you from any possible thing that you could have going on like i said this has so much nutrients if you watch my other irish moss video i go into detail about what irish moss is why we use it how we can use it and how to make it in big batches you guys know i was using a machine in the other one for my water but your alkaline water will do just fine so once it's all big and plump you are going to put it inside of your blender and fill it with water i like to get about an inch more of water 
then i have irish moss and you know there's a lot of holes inside of the irish moss it's not just a block of moss so it's actually a lot of water so i fill it up to about an inch over where the irish moss ends and i go ahead and i just blend it and blend it and blend it and one of the main mistakes people make with not getting smooth irish moss gel is that they don't let it blend for long enough so just make sure that you let it blend until it's nice and smooth I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a good close-up of what this Irish moss looks like as it's turning in your blender. It'll go through different phases, so be sure not to add more water just because it seems like it's not going because first it'll kind of seem a lot thicker and then after a while it will smooth out. However, if you are one of those people who likes to have your Irish moss, you know, a lot thinner, depending on what you use it for, um, you can add more water but I like to use it, like I said, face mask, smoothies, and you could put it in stews, you can also put it in baking. So I like to have mine just that perfect consistency that you're gonna see in a bit. And how I achieve that is just making sure that I only put about an inch to an inch and a half more water in the, in the container than I do Irish moss. So if you see how smooth and beautiful that is, and it's this pretty purple color that's just so fun to me, I, I love the full spectrum one, but I highly recommend the other one too. Like I said, no difference in taste. They're both flavorless because of the lime. And then how I store it, I always store my Irish moss in amber bottles. These are really good because it protects the Irish moss's integrity. It protects it from the sunlight or the light from your refrigerator or anything like that. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that you get your spatula and you get out as much iris moss as you can because this stuff is so good for you. It's so useful. And you know, we give thanks for these things so we don't waste them. So scoop out as much as possible and then you can store it away. Um, I typically only have it in my fridge. It only lasts me and my boyfriend about a week because we do smoothies all the time. So a week or less and that thing is gone. It usually only lasts like a couple days to be real. We put it in everything. Um, but that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there. And I will see you in the next video. And like I said before, if you want a link to this Irish Moss, it is in the description box just for you. Love you guys. Bye.